In the previous section, we showed manual remediation of a threat. This time, we're going to showcase how 4D EDR could do all that for you with its rich out of the box and customized extended automatic response options. The security policies, which we reviewed in a previous section, will remain in simulation mode for the purpose of this demo. However, we will now review and configure automatic incident response actions in the playbook section. As previously mentioned, playbooks allow you to configure which actions to perform automatically when an event is triggered. Different actions can be set for events with different classifications and different playbook policies can be applied to different collector groups. So we will review the actions one by one. In the notification area, you can configure each notification type to indicate whether or not to send the relevant message. Send email to a pre-configured mailing list, send a syslog messages to Fortisim or any other event management system, or open a ticket in a ticketing system such as ServiceNow. The investigation actions section include isolating a device, which is achieved locally on managed devices using the 40 EDR collector communication control or by integrating with a NAC such as Fortinac. In addition, you can configure the playbook to automatically move an infected device to a high security group of collectors on which more strict policies are enforced until full analysis is done and the device is fully sanitized. Automatic out-of-the-box remediation options include process termination, file deletion, as well as cleaning malware persistency, and an automatic blocking of threat communication with the firewall. Custom actions can also be configured on the integration page and then be used within playbooks. Integration with third-party systems allows broadening incident response to endless options. On this page, you can configure connectors to other systems such as firewalls, NACs, domain controllers, and set up their incident response actions. 40 EDR does come with a variety of pre-canned collectors that can integrate with common systems, such as device isolation on NAC systems, or the blocking of malware remote destinations on firewall. In addition, users can configure any customized action with any Fortinet fabric or third-party system. Customized actions would then become available on the playbook page under the custom section once they're configured. In this demo, let's show some of the options here in action. Also, we'll now change your automatic incident response playbook mode from simulation to protection. Now, let's run the malware we used on our previous section and see what happens this time that we have the playbook set to protection. We can see that the file was deleted only a few seconds after we clicked it. In the event viewer, there's a new event on Nanocore. Automatic analysis done by 40 EDR cloud services classified the event as malicious, which then triggered the automatic incident response actions for the malicious events. In this case, the Active Directory actions for resetting the user's password, logging off that user, as well as deleting the file, and blocking the IP address that was associated with the attack on FortiGate. Now let's do that again, but this time on a Linux device. We will run Metasploit, and again go see what detection response actions were taken by 40 EDR as a result. In the Event Viewer, there's a new event on a Linux device. And again, we can see the automatic incident response actions that took place following the event.